fish. All right, just hooked up. So out on Alder Lake, um, yesterday we were out and uh, I've got the video right up there. And we caught everything but kokanee. We caught cutthroat trout, a brown bullhead catfish, and a smallmouth bass. So if you want to see that video, just click that little link right up there and that'll take you to it. But anyhow, I'm back trying to catch some kokanee. That's my favorite fish. And it's about that time of year where the kokanee are in that top, uh, maybe top, there you go, the top uh, five foot of the water column uh, as it's early spring. And so we're back out and I'm gonna be trolling uh, and trying to catch some kokanee. Uh, if I happen to catch a couple of nice trout, I'll keep those as well. Uh, it's five trout, cutthroat trout are in this lake, so I'll end up keeping those. But this one, it looks like a trout. I'm not 100% sure. So. Hard to... Alright, let's see. These fish are so shiny. And it is a trout. So he's a little bit smaller. Not, not exactly the size I'm looking for. So I'm going to get him uh, unhooked and let him go. There he is. Just a nice little cutthroat. And back in the water he goes. All right, just hooked up with another fish. We'll see what's going on here. So again, long lining today. So I've got the rod set back 120 feet. So a little bit further back today. And I just want to make sure that, you know, this motor as I pass over fish isn't scaring them away and if it is, I want them to have time to come back to where they were and then my lines to be there to greet them. So that's kind of what we're doing today. So still got about 60 feet left. So this one's a little scrapping pretty good. So 50 feet left. And if this is a kokanee, I'll end up swinging back through there. But uh, we'll see, it kind of feels like a trout again. But I would like to be surprised. So. All right, 35 feet. Now one thing, I do keep the motor going because I'm trolling another rod. So, you know, when the fish is fighting pretty hard, um, like this one is actually putting quite a bit of uh, uh, stress onto this rod. It's, the rod is bent really, really uh, almost in half. Um, I don't want my drag too tight that I tear the hooks loose if it's a coconut. So 15 feet, and we're gonna see what this fish is. And it could be that it's hooked funny. All right, let's see. It's close enough that I can net it. another trout. This one's even smaller than the first one. Another little trout, little cutthroat trout. All right, just hooked up. Just hooked up. So I'm out towards the middle of the lake and I'm really not even, I'm not marking fish at all. But I am hooking into the fish, so they are hitting this. 
And that just tells me that they're really, you know, when the cone of the sonar comes down, uh, it's very narrow. So they could be off to the sides of the cone or it's that the, they're so shallow that the radar is not picking them, or the sonar is not picking them up. So we'll see if we can get this one in. It's about 50 feet out. I have a feeling these are kokanee out here uh, just because as soon as I start reeling, they're coming off and uh, it feels like this one's off again on the green. So I'll get this. Uh, oh no, it's on there and it's a kokanee. So let's see if I can get it netted. netted. Just a little guy. So this is really next year's fish, uh, just because the size of it is so small. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like, just so you can see how small it is. So he's been he's been hooked before and and caught in the eye. So I'm gonna end up keeping him. All right, just hooked into a pretty decent uh, takedown right there. So it definitely feels like a kokanee. So that was pretty cool. Oh yeah. Hope it is Mr. Kokanee. Come on. All right, so we got about 50 feet of line still out. Now what I did, guys, is I, I set this back even further. So I went back to 150 feet. And the reason being is I just figured I can see the fish. They're very shallow or I'm not marking them at all, which tells me I'm going right over them. And when I do, I know I'm spooking them. Uh, so I'm giving them a chance to kind of come back to that area. Again, I've said this several times, but it's just that's how critical it is. Um, when you're out long lining and you're shallow, you got to make sure that you're set back far enough for the fish to come back. And especially in this lake. This lake is uh, stocked with uh, kokanee in the fall. And then it's got a native population of uh, cutthroat trout. And so those, those fish are not used to getting, you know, they're not used to people and Mr. Kokanee. All right, so I've got it figured out. Now this is, uh, again, next year's fish, but uh, it's the second Kokanee of the day, so I'm hoping they get a little bit bigger as I move along. So there he is, old Mr. Kokanee. Is it? Yep, old fish. All right, guys, I've, I have a double. I don't know. This other rod just got hit as I'm reeling this one up. I think I'm finally dialed into the kokanee. Again, 150 feet back. So, you know, even further back, I think now uh, as I'm passing over them, they're able to come back into this area. So this is a good sign. I left the pink on just uh, a few more minutes and it, it's paid off as I've uh, hooked up with something on the pink and I'm thinking it'll be a kokanee, I'm hoping. So, you know, this is uh, way different than yesterday when I caught, <laughs> I was out kokanee fishing. I ended up catching a brown bullhead catfish, a smallmouth bass, and quite a few trout. And uh, so if you want to see that video, just check that link right up there. And that'll take you to uh, the video I did uh, the other day, catching that brown bullhead catfish. And grab the net for this guy. And it is a kokanee, so again, dialed in, and I just 
I had a really good mark over here at 20 feet, so a, a school of them. So, it's not the biggest guy in the world, but he's definitely a kokanee. So it's bigger than the first couple that we caught today. Oh, there is a fish. All right, I was dropping back that pole, and this one has a fish. I'm definitely, definitely into kokanee now, finally. So if this pays off, this will be number four of ten. Love to get a limit, that'd be fantastic to go home with a limit of kokanee. Definitely marking fish now between the zero and seven foot uh, range, so I'm going over quite a few of them. I went over a really large school, it was a, at about 20 feet, but that would require me to change everything up right now, and I'm just, I don't want to do that. Uh, especially while I'm still into the fish. Now, if I get out of the fish, I marked that school, so if I end up not catching these fish, I'll probably go back to that and fish a little deeper. So we're at about 25 feet out. So we'll get that fish up here in just a second. 10 feet. Mr. Kokanee. Hey, pretty good day fishing. Didn't catch a limit of kokanee, but we did catch a few, which is uh, a lot better than what we did the other day. Hey, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out the other content on this channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Until next time, take care.